I'm Cajun Kevin here. How's it going out there, YouTube? I'm getting ready to do a short ride. I wanted to show y'all, see what y'all think about my uh, exhaust. I, uh, I painted it with a high tim gold. It doesn't match exactly uh, to the forks, but it looks so much better, in my opinion, than black. And I removed all the stickers on the uh, the swing arm. I have plans to put uh, something on there. I'm not sure yet what type of decal or, or letter. And I also put these pinstripes. I want to see what y'all think of those. And the Grom letters, as I showed y'all before. But today I want to talk about... <laughs> The transmission on the Grom. You know, as most of you know, it's real notchy. Also, what aggravated me a lot the most, especially when I first bought it, was getting it into neutral. Sometimes it was just a pain. So I went back to an oil that I've been using for a while now called Royal Purple Max. It's for bikes and it doesn't affect your clutch. And it's my bike runs much cooler with it. And also getting in it, putting it into neutral is I'd say 50-60% easier. Most of the time it just pops right into neutral. It's still notchy, you know, but I mean, I think that's just part of the, uh, the transmission, the gears. Which, I'm okay with that. But what's, what's y'all thoughts on oil? What type of oil are y'all using? I'm using full synthetic. I always did in my bikes. Royal Purple is not very cheap. It's like six, fifteen, sixteen dollars a, a quart. And some people say, well now, that's, that's very expensive, but in a way, I'm all about getting the best protection from my motor. If I have to spend an extra six bucks, so be it. So what is your preferred oil? Not necessarily just for Groms, but in motorcycles in general. Another issue I'm having, I don't know if it's an issue or just part of the, the chain that Honda decided to put on my bike on the Grom, is, you know, first of all, it's not an O-ring chain, which I do plan on putting one, but I like about an inch and a half of chain slot. So I'll adjust it, you know, tighten it down well. About every third, fourth ride, third or fourth, fourth ride, I noticed it was a little more than an inch and a half slack. Now, I'm not going to continue to adjust that chain. I'm going to leave it as, as it is right now. Is that normal? I mean, are you guys having the same problem? I 
I think putting a better chain would solve that. about this bike the Grom has the braking is awesome I mean I could be going like you know full throttle and I mean it'll stop on the dime you know I just love that Oop. little gravel road here come here every now and then there's a lot of gravel roads here you know unpaved roads and the more I ride my gram you know in my parish which some people is county I find more and more of them and I also find these little trails right off the road which is cool you know you know, that's one thing I couldn't do with, with most of my other bikes. It was either a straight dirt bike or a road bike. Ah, it smells good. Burger King. Put this little bell. I saw Fooligan had one and I liked it. People will wave at me. You know, this thing will turn heads as, as you know if you own one. And I don't like taking my hand off the bar. So I said, you know, that's a that's a good idea by my fooligan. I, I'll just put my little bell in when people wave at me. I just hit the little bell. Kids love it, you know. They're like, hey, I want to hear the bell again, you know. They love the grom. I'm averaging about, I've been having a bike for two months now, maybe a little bit more than two months. I'm averaging about 500 miles per month. Tell you what, if I didn't have to work, which we do, I'd ride this thing every day, all day. That's how much I love this bike. It's probably the best three grand I've spent. Really got my money's worth. But anyway, oh, downshifted instead of. Anyway, I want to. I want to know what type of oil that you guys are using in your bikes, and why. Hope you have a good one. Go watch a little football. Cajun Kevin out.